As the 2020 polls draw near, the MPP is leaving no stone unturned in its efforts to win the hearts of Zongo women across the country. The Zongo Women for NPP is a volunteer group formed prior to the 2012 elections under the auspices of the Second Lady, Samira Baumia. It is made up of enthusiastic Muslim women in the Zongo communities across the country who are poised to canvass for votes in all Zongo communities to ensure victory for the NPP. Speaking at the Zongo Women National Congress 2020 in Accra, Samira Baumia tags the people living in Zongo communities to assess the performance of the new Patriotic Party administration and vote massively for the party in the December 7 general elections. According to her, the MPP administration has demonstrated its ability to improve the lives of the people in the country through its numerous initiatives, especially its flagship free SHS policy. Making reference to her Fulani and Zongo background, she urged the women to take advantage of Akufuado's free SHS program and ensure their children get full education because there is space for them at the top two, irrespective of where they come from. As a Zongo woman, as somebody who was born in the Zongo, the difference is that I'm educated. That is why when I had the opportunity, I'm able to rise to the occasion and I want this blessing to be true for every child in the zone. And that is why it's important that we fight for this government. That is why it's important that the government of Nanado Dankwe Ufuado gets four more to do more for you, for the people of Zongo. Because opportunity is important. Because we need to get a break for every child, for every family. Because anybody can make a difference in, in anybody's family. Be it a woman, be it a man. And we as an example can stand here and fight. And that is why in this final spread, as women, we need to work hard and make sure that this good thing that we have, this blessing that we have in this government, this blessing that we have in this free education, doesn't slip away. Meanwhile, Minister of Communications and Member of Parliament for the Blekuma West constituency, Ursula Wusu Yukufu, encouraged the women to go beyond the political myth about the MPP in the Zongo communities and vote massively to secure four more years for the MPP. In 2008, when Anna Kufuado had the chance to choose amongst the many qualified people in the MPP to be his running mate, he chose Al Haj Mahmoud Dr. Baumia. He repeated the same choice in 2012. He could have changed it, but he said, Look, no, we make a good team together. We worked well together in campaign 2008. So I will go with Al Haj Baumia again. And the party agreed. In 2016, people were saying that it's time for him to change the ticket. And he said, La, I'm not changing the ticket because I need Dr. Baumia to work with me when we come into government and I know he will perform. And indeed, he has. And so let no one deceive us that the MPP has no time for Muslims and those from the Zomos. 